Nick Newell is a name that you should absolutely know, including Denise Jones. So Nick Newell, not Rick Strong, Nick Newell is a one handed UFC fighter. I know. This is going to blow your mind. Take a look, and then we'll discuss. ED is back. Wrestling skills do come in handy in on the single leg, switches up to the double here. Elevate, turn him over. Oh. And there's the face crank. Basically, the neck was going to give out. Yeah. Effing legit. Yet it appears that the UFC is not going to come calling. It's hard to fight here with two arms, said Dana White in 2012. Maybe you can get away with that in some of these other states. I don't know. Fighting with one arm is just craziness to me. He retired for uh, some time in 2015, came back, and I believe we have more footage of some of his fights. Well, firstly, this is the fight that we're actually going to show you. He was ready to throw down, but you see with his left arm, still, he has overcome the odds over and over again, been doubted so many times. And now if we can show the second one, here's what he's doing to his opponents. You are going to see the, uh, you're going to see him not only grapple, it seems like his strength is wrestling. But also throughout the course of this fight, what you're going to see is some lackluster defense that comes with the territory of almost every MMA fighter. But the strength that he has, yeah. the wrestling ability that he has, the ability to overcome his deficiencies and still win. He won this fight because he was able to get his guy to the ground, land some punches. There's a flying elbow, a spinning elbow rather. His footwork is pretty good. I don't see why the UFC, the UFC should not give him a chance. Maybe because there's liability that they're- There's liability with every fighter that steps in. Don't you think? What, what I think is really interesting is the way that he, uh, he's kind of like that. Uh, I remember growing up, we had those those playful jelly things that they're kind of hard to, to get grip on. Uh -huh. They're just like full of kind gel of. inside. Yeah. It's like a mm. piece of plastic with a bunch of gel and you're like, it's super slippery. Okay. That's kind of how he wrestles in a way, because his opponent, though they have the advantage of another uh, hand or mm -hmm. arm or mainly half hand, arm. yeah, forearm yeah. and arm. Or arm. <clears throat> they can't seem to get a grip on this guy, or maybe they, I don't know, maybe they're feeling some kind of sympathy, or they're they're all already walking in with the mentality that it's going to be a piece of cake, so they're not right. expecting this guy to have like this upper body strength that he has because he's able to grip somebody yes. with one arm yes. and then slide and then in. Yeah, but he's just like slide. Yeah, he's sliding and pulling, sliding and pulling. Yeah. Well, here's what he said via TMZ about possibly joining the UFC and how he's continually overlooked by Dana White and company. What's your message to anybody who feels like you shouldn't be put in there with UFC fighters because they are scared that you are going to get hurt? Yeah, I didn't know so many people. I, oh, I didn't know they cared about me so much. You know, like, oh my God, thank you for looking out for me. Where have you been my whole life? They said the same thing about women that when women fought, like, oh, don't have women in the UFC because, um, you know, no one wants to see them get beat up. And then you got chicks with their ears falling off in fights and their nose busted and crooked and people are like, sweet, you know, I'm ready for the UFC and I'm, I'm more prepared and I'm gonna win fights there. And if I lose, I've earned the right to lose. You know, I've proven that I'm good enough. You know, if, if, if they don't want me, they don't want me. You know, it's, it's just kind of a, a crappy situation for me. I feel like I belong. And I'm ready to start snapping some necks and cashing some checks. His, <laughs> I like his confidence, man. I love I his too. confidence. I love his humor. This guy, I'm looking up his stats right now. His yeah. height and weight is your average UFC fighter, 5'10", 155 pounds. His stats are crazy. Total, he's he's fought 15 times. 14 wins, yeah. two by knockout, nine by submission, three by decision. Nine by submission. Nine by submission. Dude, that's that's absolutely ridiculous. That's like, elite. Beyond elite. Yeah. And he only has one loss <clears throat> of, of, of the 15 matches that he's he Yeah, had. and real quick had. on that, it was to Justin Gaethje who had, if, of you, course. if you guys did not see UFC 218, you should YouTube this fight where he fought Eddie Alvarez. It was one of the best fights of the year. 
And Eddie Alvarez eventually knocked him out, but Justin Gaethje was right in there. And in that fight, if you go back and try to YouTube it as well, when Nick Newell took him on, he was actually winning that fight until he eventually was handed defeat. Right. Um, he has a 74 inch reach, like this guy with one arm can yeah. do. He can do damage. Wonders. Yeah. Like with two arms, he's. <laughs> I don't even know if he, with two arms, what do you do over here's, two ends? Here's my main point. I agree. Here's my main point. Four inch reach. CM Punk is a bad UFC fighter. He fought Mickey Gall, Fair. who is like a purple belt, uh, I believe, in jujitsu. However, what they did was, oh, well, this guy is going to bring us so much cash. Let's just do it. Right. What they could potentially do is not only align these two together, but Change the narrative of, oh, well, this, this guy is one hand, he can't do it. You want to know who has changed the entire uh, entire conversation on this? Shaquem Griffin right. from UCF, killed it at the combine. Ran a uh, 4.4840, I believe, 4.3840, um, maybe even quicker. He put up more than offensive linemen do on the bench. Right. This is not a disability that these guys have. They are changing the way we think about it. And lastly, to end on his own note, I think I have been I think I have been given the right to fight and I deserve to lose if I lose. Yeah. I agree completely. One thousand percent. And the fact that he brought up women and, and how a lot of people were very skeptical about women being in UFC and now look at them now, like he's really changing the narrative when it comes to what you need to be an efficient fighter to get in the ring. So you know, he's a, he's he's killing it. Nick Noel, we love you. We hope the best for you, and we hope to see you in a UFC octagon, hopefully soon.